first tonight, we want to start uh, to, by talking about a smaller airport that has a dilemma that has ripple effects through an entire city. The Lake City City Council and HACO, the largest employer in the area, are at odds over a lease agreement. On your side, Zach Wilcox was at a heated city council meeting tonight, packed full of HACO employees, and he has a look at what tonight's decision means for the people who live there. HACO here is an aerospace company that works alongside airlines like Spirit and United. It is the bread and butter for the Lake City economy. 12,000 people live in Lake City. More than 600 of them work right here. And those employees are hoping the city will do whatever it takes to keep the company in Lake City. But some city leaders can't help but feel that the multi-million dollar corporation is taking advantage of the small town. My daughter just started working out there. My brother worked out there 23 years. Rusty Rollerson works as a maintenance supervisor for HACO, alongside quite a few of his family members and friends. With contract talks between the city and the aerospace company hitting a wall, he's suddenly worried about his job security. It's just an embarrassment to have to go through this. Just don't see it. HACO leases its property on the Lake City Gateway Airport from the city for $150,000 a year. It's contract time, and the city council took a look at a plan that would raise that to $300,000 a year. Some leaders feel that number is still really low. We allow ourselves to be taken advantage of. Right now, HACO pays the city four cents a square foot to lease the property. That new contract would up that to eight cents a square foot. Meanwhile, HACO subleases one of its eight hangars to another company for $4.71 a square foot. That is 59 times what the city would be making off the exact same property. There's something wrong with that. Pay the city what is, what is somewhat worth, but it's worth more than eight cents a square foot. Other council members feel you can't put a price on how valuable the hundreds of jobs are to the community. Those employees hold more value to Lake City than anything that has been spoken in here tonight. Ultimately, by a 3-2 to two vote, the council decided to extend the current lease for one year while they get the property appraised before heading back to negotiations, leaving the more than 600 employees to wonder if they'll be in the same position a year from now. They've already cost a lot of jobs already, so people are going to be jumping ship like rats. Watch and see. In Lake City, Zach Wilcox, First Coast News, on your side.